Let's get into it. Hola, como estas everybody? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Today we're going to be talking about Valentine's, Valentine's Day. And what you could be doing on this day or for this whole week where Valentine's time lies. And I'm going to give you some ideas you can do for this week or for that day. Um, so, for the girlies that are solo dolo, it's okay. We still love you guys. For the solo dolo ones, or even if you are still in a relationship, you can still do this too. So, have solo dates. Now, people are very scared to have solo dates. Why? I don't know why. I do this all the time. I go to movies. I'll go to the mall. I'll go to Barnes & Noble. I'll go to the mall, walk around, look at stuff. Or I'll just go to the mall and go to the little table, pull out my laptop and stuff like that. So, have solo dates. What these solo dates will do for you, it will build, build your character on being alone. So it will make you less scary of going alone. You will finally get over the fear of what your fear is on being alone anyway, going to places alone. You'll see that it's actually fun and you get to learn more things about you. Excuse me. Learn more things about you. Just like how you go on a date on with other people and you learn them and you peep some things about them. That you're just like, oh okay. I like this about them. I don't like this about them. I peep these red flags. I peep these green flags. You can do the same for you when you're out by yourself. Peep what you do when you go outside. Do you jitter a lot? Are you like just running back and forth, walking back and forth in one place, don't know what to do? Take notes on how you act. And then once you take those notes, you can target those actions that you do or those feelings that you feel and you can do the inner work and practicing on how to get better so if you just be like okay i have a hard time focusing on just me being in the moment cool and you just be on your phone all day typing typing away that is taking the special time away from your solo date and you know spending time with you alone and taking the specialty out of it and not making it romancy like not making it special you know put a little sprinkle sprinkle on it um it's making it plain in like everybody else so one thing you can do to help that is put in like your ear pod put in some earphones and listen to music that calms you down so this will help you put this will help you forget about the people around you and it will um drag you away from the jitterness you know like oh like keeping you out of the whole focusing state that you're oh out somewhere by yourself when you listen to music that you like and you just you know you out of you know out of the world with it so you forget the things around you and you don't feel nervous anymore you feel confident you feel like oh i forgot i was even here like you feel more comfortable when you listen to songs that you like or get you in that type of state Number two is sleepovers. You can have now. You can have mini sleepovers for you, or you can have mini sleepovers with your friends, with your boyfriend, whoever, or you know, just by yourself. It's perfectly fine. You can spice it up. A Valentine thing um, sleepover. Have Valentine thing cakes. Valentine theme love letters. I'll be like hand out love letters to each other and like express your feelings about each other or even to yourself if you're doing it by yourself put on some cute pajamas satin silky pajamas you know bake a little cake or bake some cupcakes or you know watch some little valentine romantic movies set the tone like candles take little valentine pictures for you yourself or with you and your group play games like all these things that you can do with other people you can do it with yourself too just make it fun you know what you like most so when it's just you you have more play around with when it comes to just you you should be able to do that with your friends too but if all your friends are different then you gotta you know specialize certain parts of the sleepover stuff like that so everybody can enjoy it number three is have solo activities or group activities you know you can make these up your own or you can just get card games and stuff like that i suggest card games that quizzes each other on how well you guys know each other now y'all might get in a little tussle 
Cause y'all y'all might be like, dang, I should've known that, but I ain't know that. But now you know. After that little tussle, it's okay, it's okay. It's not y'all not gonna break up, y'all not gonna stop being friends or nothing like that. Those are good because it really gives that amped up like, oh let's see if you know me for real. It gives fun, it gives activities, it gives something to do during this day because it, and it, it shows like oh how much you're very interested into that person and stuff like that by doing these type of quiz games and stuff like that i think it's very fun when it comes to group because with you you know yourself already so it don't make no point on really doing a quiz game when you know yourself number four make a picture frame you know like a vision board but instead of a vision board you can do that too make a vision board of what it is going to be this year for this week this month um everything in your life you can do that and you can do just a picture of you and all the things that are surrounded around you is things that you love and that is loving so it gives you that warm heart feeling like oh like it gives you something to look at every day just in case if you forget it's not just for valentine's day you can keep it you don't have to throw it away um you can do this with you can surround your picture with you or have pictures of you in your family or your friends or even not if you don't have any friends it's okay your little pet or whoever or just things that you love surrounded around you and you'll see gratitude in it every time you look at it number five Dress up, let's not be plain, dress up Valentine themey or just spice it up, pink, red, whatever you want to do, just in a loving type of thing. Um, spice it up. You don't have to dress regularly, okay? Especially if you don't want to, that is what you're we're here for. You want to do the max for real for these type of holidays because that is what why these holidays feel different from other days you do the most or you do more than your regular days you show out more in this day than you do in other days so you gotta show out or don't show it out don't don't show up so dress up wear cute things wear cute things dress up for the whole week if you want to no matter what just dress up put on makeup if you don't usually do i don't wear makeup but i was like oh i'm on a little valentine thing type of I look, I don't know how I do it, but you know, at least it's nice to think of. You could do that, have makeup looks. You know how you went to school and they would have, oh, certain days that you have to dress up as a certain thing? You could do that too. That would be fun. Number six, give yourself extra special care days. So that means special baths, special teas, special activities like journaling, special dedication to yourself, sleeping an extra two three hours if you want to if you have that time giving yourself a body massage or going to um get your nails done do a spa day go to a massage place um go to the movies make a little cute little plate serving plate you know how they like got the crackers the cheese and stuff like that make a bubble bath with crystals around it candles around it um with little soothing um sounds in the background with pink lights like i have like an led thing and i put it in the bathroom and it's pink um in there and with the sparkles like you know make it dazzle number seven i think is a very good one write a love letter to you or your loved ones, your friends, your family, your even your dog, even though they can't read, but it's okay. Show love. That's what this day is all about. And every day should be about showing love. But this day is dedicated just to that. So write a love letter to yourself. A love letter to yourself and a love letter to your friends, your family, your pet, whoever and express how much you are grateful for them how much you're thankful for them um all the memories all the nice memories that you guys have with each other they write down why you even love them you continue to love them how they're special to you write down how they had your back how they supported you and how what that made you feel about them when that jump was done and how it made you feel in that exact like right go like write journal down a special memory that you guys that you had with them or even with yourself and just sp sprinkle it up like put a little love it on there you know write it down like you was writing a story for a movie like a script 
boo 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 like oh when I saw you and we went to the day on um Ferris wheel and stuff like that it was fun even though I didn't you know I don't do things like that but it was really special because you made it a lighter of the situation what the beam and all that but yeah I hope you guys love this video my camera's gonna die as always tell your piggy your doggy your fist everybody about me like comment and subscribe and we'll see y'all in the next one bye